What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an awesome video because I found a new product research method that was just released and the best thing about it is that for a lot of you it's going to be completely free because you will already have this tool. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I have several more videos coming out on new product research methods and the best thing about a new product research method is that you have the potential to find products to sell on Amazon that nobody else is finding. So when a new tool or a new like feature to a tool comes out, you know, there's not a lot of people that are using it or even know about it. So you can find products that have a great potential to make you thousands of dollars a month on Amazon that nobody else is finding. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to announce the free giveaway winner for a free coaching call where you can ask me anything you want uh, on the phone. If you want to be entered into this giveaway, I give away about one per week. Just leave a comment down below and subscribe and you'll be entered. All right, guys, let's jump over to the computer and I'm going to show you this new feature right now. Okay, guys, so we're in Helium 10 and a lot of you already have the Helium 10 because they have so many tools that you can see right here. It is just amazing for your business because of the sheer amount of features that they have. And they have just recently added this new feature for product research called Amazon Phrases Research. So what you do is you go to black box and then you click keywords over here and this is a just released feature. So what this is going to do is this is going to show you keywords, phrases that are being searched in Amazon for a certain amount of search volume that potentially can have low reviews or you can look for like, there's so many different things you can look for. So I'm gonna show you several different searches that I just made and products that I just found that you could sell that look like great potential products to sell. And I'm gonna show you how you did it with these new features called the Amazon Phrases Research, the Keyword tab on Helium 10. So as you can see here, you can put in the amount of search volume that you're looking for on a keyword. So if you're not new to this channel, you'll know that I recommend that any keyword that you wish to sell on Amazon has at least a thousand search searches per month, a thousand search volume per month, okay? So in this case, I put anywhere from a thousand to 12,000, and I'm gonna do several different searches here to show you. You could specify the monthly revenue here. So this is the amount of sales dollars uh, this, this product makes per month. So I put 5,600 to 12,800. I always recommend you put like odd numbers like this so you're not finding similar products that other people find. There'll just be a range of different orders or different cutoffs. Uh, it's better to put odd numbers so you're not using these, you're not gonna find the same products other people are finding as much. So price $25 to $74. Review count, I put between one and 45. So these are all gonna be uh, basically products with low reviews, okay? And for this case, I chose the category of tools and home improvement. And I've already done the search here to kind of speed things up. And what you're gonna see here is it doesn't show you products, it shows you keywords, okay? And phrases, and then you can go and look at each phrase. So wire rope, patio tiles, powder coat. Again, this is the tools and home improvement section. And you can see it shows the search volume right here. So like this phrase wire rope is being searched for 2000 times per month. And again, this is just one keyword. You know, if you were to go and sell a wire rope, you know, you, there would be probably several different keywords that you could look for that you could possibly find a good potential in. But um, I did really just some quick searches and I found several different products that were interesting to me. So on this page, one of the first ones that jumped out to me was powder coat. I know that powder coating, a lot of people do it. It's very popular, okay? So all I did was after I found this is I went to Amazon and I just typed in powder coat, okay? And as you're gonna see here, you're gonna see several different type of products that are for powder coating. So the, the interesting thing about powder coating is that you can be on this page, on page one for this phrase, but not everybody's selling the exact same product, which is great because you can have a product that stands out. So they have powder coating kits. I mean, this one, this is as high as $350 and it has only four reviews. They have canisters, they have like this powder, all these different stuff for powder coating search. So if I bring up the Helium 10 X-Ray Chrome extension, We'll get some more detail here on the first page. So again, you can see the search volume is 1,200 searches per month, which is above our minimum. 
And over here we have the review count. So these first two results are sponsored results. These are pay-per-click Amazon. So generally I don't include them, but you know, I'll still look at them. But as you can see here, out of the top 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the top 10 have less than 100 reviews. There's only one with 200 there. Okay, and then out of the revenue, let's look here. We got one, two, three, four, and then these two aren't available. So four out of eight are above 5,000 in revenue. One is 68,000. And what you can do from here is you can go and search other powder coating searches. Just kind of go in Amazon. Let me see here, I'll do it real quick for you. And type in powder and you'll see some suggestions. So powder coating paint, powder coating gun, powder coating. These are all potential products that you can sell that probably fit your criteria you're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next search here. So in this case, I did arts, crafts, and sewing. And you can see the search volume here, the revenue, price, review count. I always change this a little bit every time I'm searching so that you find slightly different products. So. Uh, again, this is arts, crafts, and sewing. And again, I just looked at uh, the first couple here and there were several that were interesting. So a tumbler turner, and I found that interesting because I didn't actually know what it was. So I went and brought it up on Amazon and you can see here, it's kind of like a, like a machine part. So, you know, I probably wouldn't sell this because I don't know enough about like machining to do this. But I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there that are like in this niche or you know you you work with this type of stuff where you would know better. But let's bring up the product research. Generally, I don't recommend you don't sell a product. If you don't know anything about it and it's like complicated, don't sell it unless you know something about it. But when we bring this up here, revenue comp below 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all 10 of them have revenue, or I'm sorry, reviews below 100. And revenue, look at this, the number one guy here is making $72,000 per month with only 87 reviews. Um, here's another one, $23,000 a month with 61 reviews. And these are nice, healthy prices. Look at this, $50, $40, $47. So there's probably a good profit margin in there. And you can see there's several, look at this guy, he's making $14,000 a month with 16 reviews. I mean, that means 16 reviews, you can pretty much get that in like, two months, you know? So, I mean, there's several products. I mean, every single one of these has below 100 reviews. And again, this was just something I found within five minutes. So it's a nice way to find products very quickly that you can put on your list to find a product to sell. Generally, I don't recommend you go and just like find one product in your product research and then go sell that one product. Find several of them and kind of compare them and put them on your list so that you can like, then compare them to decide which one you actually want to sell. So I'm gonna do one more search here, actually two more. The last one is a little special. So here we did a health and health household search. And you can see there's 64 different phrases found just for this specific search I did with this criteria. And see like Redcon one, I don't even know what that is. So some of these are probably like, um, you know, patented products or like a search for a specific product, but let me see, this was actually the one that I found interesting. So CPR, you know, everybody knows what CPR is, but it fit my criteria here. So I brought up CPR in Amazon, and the nice thing, again, about this search is it shows a bunch of different items. So you could get on page one for CPR, for example, and have a different item than everybody else, and people will pick your product because it might be the only one for sale on that, you know, because they're all different products. So like here, the the number two guy here is selling a $385 CPR kit and has only seven reviews and they're number two for the search CPR. So as you can scroll down here, you're gonna find a whole bunch of different things. Now there's some things here for like $7. You know, I wouldn't recommend selling that. It's gonna be too low. I mean your profit margin is gonna be like a dollar or, or, so, or less. I mean, you won't even have enough money for pay-per-click. But the cool thing is, is, you know, products like these stand out. I mean, somebody looking for a CPR kit, probably to spend $143 is nothing because that's what they're looking for. They're looking, they're expecting to pay, you know, to buy a whole kit. So let's bring up the Chrome extension here. 
And you can see the average price is $70, but there's a lot of completely different price swings in here. You have a lot of prices for under $10. I don't recommend you sell those. And then you kind of have these big prices and there's only two of these like big price kits in the top 10. So you could have a kit like this and sell it for like $139 or $129 and probably still have a lot of profit and be able to like have the cheapest one and still have a really great price there. And if you re look at the reviews here, nine out of the top 10 have below 70 reviews. There's only one of them with over 100 reviews. And the revenue here, one, two, these are both close enough to 5,000. We'll count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the top 10 have revenue at 5,000 or above. And I mean, you can look at some of these guys. This guy's making $46,000 and he only has seven reviews. I mean, that is amazing. And as you can see, that's only 120 sales per month because his price is so high. I mean, that's such a cool product if you have the budget to sell something like that. So here's another one, this, this other high price one. He's only selling 200 of them per month, but he's making $30,000 a month because it's a $143 item. I mean, and really he could have $50 or more in profit in there. You can see the 30, $32 in FBA fees, so that's all the fees combined. That still leaves $110 here for the whole item and kit. So $110, even if he paid $60 for it, um, from Alibaba to source it, that would still be $50 left in profit after your FBA fees and after paying for the item. So I mean, that could be a really good niche for somebody that didn't have a really small budget and could afford it. So finally, in this final search, I went big here. So I went with search volume between 10,000 searches and 30,000 searches per month. So this is going to show like really high searched items, but yet low reviews. And you can see some of these lounge fly, like I, I, I would guess that that's like a branded item here. Vases, that's a very interesting one. I didn't bring that up, but that gets 13,000 searches per month. And yet this product only has 66 reviews. Chinese lanterns, that's another interesting one. Here, turkey bus, this is the one I brought up. So 13,000 searches a month turkey vest so and the nice thing about this is these are all again nice healthy prices look at this from 120 to 180 dollars 14 reviews here 20 reviews 21 reviews six reviews let's bring up the chrome extension and again this shows you like how i find products how i teach my students to find products but this is a brand new way of doing it so when you're finding these products you might be finding niches that pretty much nobody has found or very few people have found, which is very exciting. So look at the prices here. The average price is $73. So there's probably a good amount of profit in there. Let's go look at the reviews. So a hundred, all the other ones have, look at this. Besides this first guy, every single product has below 21 reviews. How awesome is that? But yet look at the revenue here, 19,000, four, eight, four, eight, eight, eight. So really like all of them are above 5,000 except for like two, maybe two or three. So like seven out of the top 10 here are above $5,000 and they're all low reviews. I mean, you could, this guy has six reviews and he's making $8,000 a month. I mean, there could easily be two or three thousand dollars a month profit there and he only has six reviews so it's a great way to find products for your amazon fba business this new keyword phrases tool by helium 10 so if you don't already have this i have a link down below with a discount that you can use uh, if you need to get helium 10 if you already don't have it this is a brand new feature i think it's really interesting Okay, so I'm going to announce the next free phone call giveaway. The winner is here, right here. See it? See it right here? Uh, thanks for the comment. That was an awesome comment. You know, I try to provide as much value as I can uh, in this YouTube channel and also in my Amazon Facebook group. So there's a link down below also in the description for our free Amazon FBA Facebook group. Make sure you join it. We got discussions going on almost every single day with different questions. And if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video. I have several new product research 
uh, ideas, tools, and like ways to search coming up in the next couple videos. So I will see you in the next video.